Excellency, I now uh, have the pleasure of inviting uh, His Excellency uh, um, Mr. Nasser Burita, Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation and Moroccan Expatriates of the Kingdom of Morocco. Thank you. Please, sir. I would like to start by reiterating Morocco's strong condemnation of the terrorist attacks of yesterday in Hadera and uh, present our sincere condolences to the victims and our uh, wish uh, of uh, recovery to all the injured. Uh, our presence today is, I think, the best response to such uh, attacks. I'm very delighted to be here uh, in Negev uh, in this very historic and timely uh, Nagav Summit, or I should say, first Nagav Summit. And I would like to thank you, Yair, for the invitation, for choosing this uh, very nice venue, and for the hospitality. I would like also to thank you, uh, Tony, for the presence, for the involvement, for the commitment. Uh, the United States uh, has been a reliable partner in promoting peace and uh, your personal commitment uh, to this endeavor is very important uh, to us. Uh, Morocco's presence here under instructions of His Majesty King Mohammed VI is meant to send two messages. The first one is to our host and to the people of Israel. As His Majesty Mohammed VI said uh, when we established the relations, this is not an opportunistic move. It's a move of conviction. It's a natural uh, decision based on this long-standing relations between Morocco, Israel, and the kings of Morocco and the Moroccan Jewish community. You are saying here that maybe Every Israeli has in his family someone with Moroccan blood. It's not only a joke, it's a reality. I learned that uh, two of the mayors of the main cities in the Negev, in uh, Daimuna and in um, uh, Yoroham, are from Moroccan origin. And this shows this very uh, close ties between the kingdom and the population here. Yeah. Uh, since the signing of the trilateral declaration in December, I think we have achieved a lot. Visits, direct flights, uh, agreements, and uh, connecting people, which is also very important. Very soon there will be a formal bilateral visit in which I think we will strengthen more our, our relations, including uh, uh, the diplomatic presence of Morocco here uh, in Israel. The second message is to the region, and I think uh, we are here today because we genuinely, sincerely, and deeply believe in peace. Not that kind of passive peace where we turn our backs to each other and peacefully ignore each other, but rather we believe in a thorough, fruitful, paradigm-shaping and value-creating peace, the only kind of peace that is a battle worth waging. And I think our pres presence is a message to that, a message to our people and a message to the people uh, of the region. Uh, we are here to create and to strengthen a positive dynamic, to uh, create a different narrative about the relations between our people. And I'm coming from a country with a long-standing coexistence between people from different faiths. And if that model has been successful in Morocco for centuries, it can also be possible here in this, uh, in this region. This dynamic is not just uh, uh, diplomatic. It should be tangible. It should be felt by the people. And it should go into concrete, positive action which improve the lives of the people and open new horizons for the youth in our region. And that's why 
we are here. We are here also to be a force of peace and first to show that uh, for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, a solution is possible. And for His Majesty King Mohammed VI, the position is constant. We are for a two-state solution, living side by side with the Palestinian state in the borders of uh, 67 with East Jerusalem as capital. And uh, a solution which will preserve the security and the interest of Israel. I think a message to the region, a positive one, but also a message to those who are enemies of this positive dynamic. Here in your region, also in North Africa, acting directly or through their proxies, our message should be that we are here to defend our values, to defend our interests, and that we are creating a shield to protect this positive uh, dynamic. Uh, I think there should be a spirit of Negev, a spirit which is coexistence, which is <coughs> tangible results, and which is building uh, for peace and challenging positively those who are the enemies of this peace. I hope we will meet very soon in a different desert, but with the same spirit. I thank you. ما تنساش تشترك في القناة وتفعل الجرس باش يوصلك جديد الفيديوهات من هسبريس